um, I just wanted to make a little update video, tell you guys how I am doing. Um, this is a trigger, trigger, <laughs> trigger warning because I'm gonna tell my weight. Um, if you get um, triggered by that, then like skip to like five seconds later. 99.2 pounds this morning. I was 95.4 like three days ago. Um, maybe it's just fluctuating or I had like extra food in my stomach that I didn't get rid of, like my body didn't get rid of yet. Um, it could be multiple things. Um, you know, maybe I didn't go to the bathroom before I weighed myself. I think I did. So, constipation, like there's so many things that can change what you weigh in the scale. So, I don't understand how I'm that weight now and I haven't been eating too much. But sure, I had like this loaf of bread, well not a whole loaf, probably like a fourth of a loaf of like homemade bread, um, and it was really good. But it was from the store, like homemade store bread, you know, like that deli kind of bread that expires really soon. I had it with olive oil, maybe that's why I gained weight, but I just, I don't like how I gain weight. Um, I can't really tell that I gain weight, but I can tell that my hip bones aren't as prominent. But with clothes on, I can't tell that I've gained weight, and I actually look better with clothes on that I've gained weight, but I'd rather look good, like, without clothes on than with clothes on, because, like, yeah, it's just, I don't know, I'd rather look good without, but, yeah, recovery-wise, um, I'm starting to eat more, but, um, to be honest, today, I've been having a bad day, um, I had an apple for breakfast, and, um, for lunch, I skipped it, because my mom and I went to McDonald's, I got a medium mocha frappe with espresso shot in it, and, um, that was really good, oh my gosh, kind of want to have another one, but if I do, then I'm gonna, like, you know, panic, and, yeah, so, yeah, and I wasn't even hungry for lunch, I'm still not that hungry, seriously, I skipped lunch, and I'm not hungry, um, that's a good thing to me, but it's kind of weird, because I can feel the hunger coming a little bit, but I don't want to eat, because if I eat, I'm going to start binging, and then I'll purge. Um, I'm kind of planning on purging at night time, before I take my shower, so I'll eat before I shower, and then I'll, you know, get rid of it, and then take my shower. But when I'm purging now, I can really, like, feel my heartbeat getting really, like, hard, and I know that's kind of common, well, maybe it's common, but, um, I know it's bad, and it means that it's bad, obviously. It's hard on my heart, but I just, I don't know. I just, I like the food, but I don't like getting rid of it, but I don't like it staying in me. And then I feel this major guilt after I do it, and it's just, like, confusing. But, yeah, I feel like I'm relapsing because I did it two times yesterday. The day before that, I didn't do it at all, so maybe I should try to not do it at all today. Obviously, I should, but the temptation is really high right now. And if I only do it once, then I could try tomorrow to not do it at all. And then I could start doing it every other day instead of every day. And, yeah, and then I'll do it, like, every two days and every three days. And, you know, just, you know, yeah, kind of recovery. Um, yeah, and that I'm eating more, I think that's a big reason as why I'm not binging and purging as often. Um, yeah, so basically, if I tell my therapist or anyone, like my doctor, that I purged, um, I'd be sent now. Um, I wouldn't be here right now. I'd be on an eating disorder program. So, yeah, I'm kind of keeping it a secret. I know it's the wrong thing to do, but for me, I feel like it's the right thing. I feel like it's my confidentiality. I feel like I deserve to be the only one who knows it, even though for my health, it's it would be good that they knew it, but I'm kind of scared that if I do it again, my stomach ex is going to explode the next time I do it. So that's some good motivation not to do it, and when I do it now, I get really bad headaches, and I get, like, lightheaded, and when I'm doing the jumping jack, so, like, the food mixes up with the water each time I purge, um, I can, like, hear this thumping noise in my ear, and it's really weird. So, yeah, and, um, I have popped eye blood vessels, one right here, I don't know if it's, like, there anymore, but, yeah, I think that went away, but it was there for, like, three months, so, yeah, bad, I know, but, it's kind of hard to stop something once you start it, if you're addicted, so, yeah, you can't just, like, cold, like, cold turkey something, it's kind of hard to do, unless if you're, like, forced to do it, I'm kind of forced to do it right now, but it's easy for me to keep it a secret, 
Which is bad. I wish it was harder for me to keep it a secret. If it was harder, then I wouldn't be as, you know, tempted to do it. But yeah, I'm not going to let myself relapse and do it as often as I was before. Um, before I started purging, like, before I went to the hospital, I was doing it like every three to four days. And then I just stopped. I didn't feel the reason to do it. And I started starving more instead of purging and eating more. Um, so yeah, I think the starving really, like, like once I got out of the hospital, I tried purging again. I hated it. Then I did it a second time, and I was like, hey, this isn't that bad. And the third time, and the fourth time, and I just started doing it, like, multiple, multiple times a day. And yeah, I kind of had a really hard relapse. So yeah, and I'm still, I still have an eating disorder. It's pretty obvious because I'm restricting right now. Um, I'm eating more than I used to be, but I'm still restricting. And I'm still purging on a regular basis. So technically right now, I belong in an eating disorder program um, unit, but um, I don't want to. I don't feel like I need the help. I have a hard time accepting help. Um, a couple days ago, I was getting ready to overdose because I just felt... There's no point in life. Why should I be here? I don't belong here. You know, I'm useless. What's the point of this? I don't like being here. It's so, I feel so like I don't belong when I'm in school and like I shouldn't be here. I should be somewhere else. I shouldn't have even been born. You know, those kind of feelings. Yeah, I hate them, but get them sometimes. Um, when I listen to sad music or go on Tumblr and I have, I go on my black and white blog, it is so depressing. So, yeah, I kind of try to lim limit myself to that and try to play more rap and, like, pop and happy songs more often than the sad songs. Because those sad songs and movies will, like, bring my mood down and it'll just get really sad and then I'll feel like I want to kill myself. And, yeah, because I had the pills in my room and I had them in my hands and I was ready to take them. And I was like, maybe I shouldn't take them. I should give it one more day, one more try. And today has been much better than two days ago. Um, I've been feeling much more, um, alert and, like, able to conquer my feelings and accept that people love me. I was having a really hard time accepting that people do love me because I'm so used to telling myself that nobody actually loves me, that I'm not pretty, not skinny enough. And so I get used to that and I started believing that, um, the only things that are true are what I tell myself and it's just the opposite because nothing that I say is true anymore really um yeah like lying to people telling them i haven't purged that's a lie um how everything's fine that's a lie cause nothing's fine except um getting better definitely am getting better um if i would have still been in my like not eating for four days cycle i wouldn't even have had that frappe or breakfast and i would be purging like four times a day and yeah so i'm just doing a lot better i am i seriously am um, no suicidal thoughts anymore. I'm feeling happier, brighter, and I'm feeling more of an appetite like I can eat. Yesterday I had a Pop-Tart and I didn't purge it, but then later I had a Pop-Tart and like some more stuff and I purged it. So yeah, so I had a Pop-Tart and I kept it down. That's good. That's good for me because I haven't done that in forever. And I also had potato smiles with ketchup and I kept it down. So yeah, I had junk food and I kept it down and I didn't binge on it until the second time. So yeah. I'm going to stop there. So, yeah. Hope you guys are doing great. Um, let me know how you are doing or how you relate to me or I don't know anything really. So, yeah. Bye, guys. Love you.